Elsewhere in the Pacific, the 2nd and 4th Marine Divisions embarked. They were to make the first landings on the island. Landings were to be made along a line from Charonkanoa to Aguignan Point by the 2nd and 4th Marines moving in abreast. The invasion was on. D-Day, oh, 0700 hours. Troops of the 2nd and 4th Marine Division piled in Higgins boats and then alligators. Under our naval barrage, the boats started for Saipan's shores at 0815 hours. Soon we would know how effective had been the pre-invasion bombardment and how much strength there was left on the island. Once on land, however, we were pinned down for a couple of hours. Soon we'd silenced enough of the enemy fire for more of our troops to land. And by noon, we had pushed a mile inland in certain parts of the beachhead. Meanwhile, the 2nd and 4th Marines went up the center of the island toward Mount Tapacho, which dominates Garapan and its harbor. This last stretch was one of the hardest. Along the mountainside, Japs were hidden in limestone caves from which they had to be blasted with dynamite and flamethrowers. Our casualties were heavy. Fanatical Japs did not give up easily. In the whole campaign, more than 11,000 of our men were wounded. We reached the mountain summit on June 25th. Now we were in the position to drive for Garapan. Some reason or another, we wanted to be the first ones in the Garapan. And we just about gave our lives for it. Kazi was ahead of me about 10 feet. And he turned around and started shooting. And there was a, five Japanese warriors there uh, ambushing. But we got by that, and then we went on down to where I found the dad. And he was dead right on the front lines. Taking the flag kind of bothered me, because it's so special, I think. And it's like it uh, part of him. He had it tucked into his coat, and I barely saw it. And I just about didn't take it, but then I thought, at least if I take it, it'd be a chance I can get it back. And if somebody else did, maybe they'd never see it again, you know. <laughs> 